this one. And in regards to other birthing positions, there is no right or wrong way to, to birth. Um, the, the metal stirrups get a really bad reputation because sometimes they can be really uncomfortable. I know women that loved that position. So again, there's no wrong way. So squatting is a very popular birthing position <clears throat> and it can be really great for helping you to utilize gravity, for facilitating the, the opening of your cervix, your perineum, making it easier for baby to slide down and out. It can even help to minimize some tearing, but it can also be really uncomfortable or, or tricky for your thighs. So if this is something that sounds appealing to you, you can practice the three different types of squatting that I'm gonna go over. So the leapfrog squat is the really low classic squat that you see women get into. And if you're very pregnant, please do this with the, the support of your companion because I don't want you to get stuck or injured when you're trying to do this. So you just lower all the way down and you either support yourself with your hands in front of you or behind you. And again, when you're practicing, at least the first few times, have your companion there with you, have them maybe supporting your shoulders and, and just see how that feels. Tune into your body as you practice this. Notice how your perineum feels. Notice how your pelvic floor feels, your legs, Eggs, really do a body scan and see how you feel. And know that if it's a little bit uncomfortable at first or your legs start to get tired, know that if you continue to practice it, that will likely go away as you get more flexible, as your legs get stronger. But if you really don't like it, you don't have to do it. And there's some, some modified squats. One is, is a sitting squat where your, your companion, they sit in a chair, maybe like this one, and you squat down and lean back into them and they'll be supporting your body with their hands. And it won't be as low of a squat as a leapfrog, but that's, that's totally fine. And it'll take a lot of pressure off of you. And if you don't wanna be that low to the ground, you can do a standing squat. So your companion, they stand up against the wall, they have their arms out, and you lean back into them. So your, their, your back would be on their chest, and you're just squatting down a little bit. And you can open up your legs pretty wide and really put all of your weight into them. And if you want some movement, they can also do just some light swaying in this position. And that can feel great. And if your care provider gives you the go ahead, the, the squat can be a really lovely position to, to birth your baby in if everybody is set up for that. And another nice, nice position where you can bond with your partner is kind of like the, the standing squat, but you just turn your body around. So you can maybe rest, rest your head on their shoulder and they have their, their arms underneath maybe your armpits or maybe you're holding hands or they're holding you under your, your elbows. You're leaning into them and same thing. You can kind of sway back and forth. They can whisper in your ear. It can be a really romantic position. And, and if you're doing that, then maybe a nurse, a midwife, a doula, they can get good access to your back. I, I've had that set up with, with many clients. The dad is there in the front and then I'm back there working on the back doing the hip squeeze. If you find that you're really tired during birth and moving around, using gravity doesn't really feel good, you can lay on your side and just support yourself with pillows, pillows behind your back, in between your legs, get really cozy. If you think you might be able to sleep even a tiny bit in between surges, this is one of the best positions to get into. And you can also birth your baby from this position. You would just have somebody hold your, your upper leg up. That's actually the position that I, I was in that position right before I birthed my son and then they switched me on my back in the stirrups which was actually fine um <clears throat> that is another position and and depending on what type of birth you're having your care provider might like really really push for your feet to be in those stirrups be flat on your back the reason that position kind of has a bad reputation in some circles is because it doesn't utilize gravity and it can be kind of uncomfortable to be flat on your back, especially if you're having back labor. But but some women find a lot of power in this position and they can push off the, the stirrups and that feels really good. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. If you find your power in that position, yeah. use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also like, again, coming back to that, every birth is different and you really don't know what you're going to expect. Mm -hmm. And when I was having my um, home birth, 
I like everything that I always heard about home birth was that like you have your baby squatting and it's like, you know, this whole primal thing. But for me, um, I had the urge to push, which we will talk about, but I had the urge to push so intensely before it was time to push that my midwife wanted me to go against gravity. So she had me go on my back to slow down that feeling because mm-hmm. she did not want me to push yet. And then I ended up birthing my baby on my back in my bed. There weren't any stirrups, but I had to hold my own legs up and birth her that way. And it was, it was great. So again, it's like, you never, you never know what you're going to need and, you know, let go of what the the feelings are around all of these positions. You're going to intuitively know, or your care provider is going to help you in the moment. Right. Essentially, any position your body can get into can be a position for birth. Yeah. <laughs> um, so a, another really interesting one, and um, this was actually, besides just sitting like this, one of my favorite positions, sitting on the toilet. Because guess what? Your body is used to opening and releasing when you're sitting on the toilet. It has that association with it. Um, if you're worried about pooping at all, that can also take some pressure off of you. It's like, well, whatever, you're already sitting on the toilet, so if you push push out some fecal matter, so what? Um, For me, I had a hard time urinating during birth, so sitting on the toilet would help me just be able to to pee whenever I had the urge. I didn't have to get up and go to the bathroom. And and it can just be supportive. If if you're in a birth center, um, a hospital especially, they usually have a a bar to hold on to by the toilet. That can feel nice for some women. They're sitting on the toilet, they can can lean lean on the, that bar in between surges, something to hold on to. The birth ball is really popular. It takes some pressure off of your hips. It also allows for really easy movement. If you feel like swirling your hips during surges, the birth ball is great for that. So you can either sit on the birth ball, sit up straight, you can lean forward onto a bed, or you can put a towel, a pillow down on the the ground and lean forward onto the birth ball. If you don't like that that kind of sticky (laughs) um, material, you can put a sheet over it or a towel to make it a little bit softer. Um, I had a client that put a, a sheepskin rug over the birth ball, that was really nice for her. If it starts to roll away from you, stick it in a corner and then use it that way and it'll stay put. And then let's see, being on all fours, um, being on your hands and your knees can be a really nice position. If you need to reposition baby a little bit, you can get on all fours and then lay your head down on your hands and your butt is sticking up in the air. Some people call that the, the polar bear position and that can help get give baby some room to, to just readjust their position a bit to, to come out of of mom um, and the speaking of that the ideal position for baby to be in this is the front of your body you want and this is the back of baby's head you want baby to come out this way so you want their nose facing the back of your body and that makes for it for the easiest descent and emergence and this is kind of the the pattern that they take out of your your pelvic region so those are most of the positions that come to mind. Um, one other one is the, the birth stool, and it's just like a horseshoe-shaped stool that's low to the ground that allows you to squat, but it also provides your, your care provider easy access to your vaginal opening because they do like to watch what's going on down there when, when baby's coming out. Um, and then of course the, the tub, if you're choosing to have a water birth, there's so many different positions you can get into in the bathtub. But again, tune into your body as you practice these different positions. And I do recommend that you, you practice all of them. Just try them out, do some meditation, spend some time in them, see how your body feels in that position, see how easy it is to relax in that position and start to, to gain some, some body knowledge that way by, by trying out different things.